Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me. Inspiration of Saint Matthew, or Matthew writing his gospel, dictated to him by voices. Torture of Ixion, condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. The incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on but doesn't touch. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. There's a circle around the lock here. Must be the trunk Mortimer was talking about. The key should open it. There's a note. Effects of Sœur de Richer to be given to her son, Louis. I should probably take it. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. Saturn devouring his son. Again? Saint Francis of Assisi in ecstasy before superior voices. It always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. Excuse me, am I bothering you? No, not in the least. Is something wrong? I'm going to need your help. Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? I, I bumped into her in the small salon before. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens! I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room, and perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Count on me, sir. Thank you, my friend. Keep Elizabeth downstairs as long as possible. She must not return to her room. Trust me. According to Washington, Lady Adams is in the small salon. I better hurry. No! 
Ah, my son. Oh, you are a godsend. What's the matter, Your Eminence? I believe a Miss Adams may be in danger. What do you mean? Do you hear that? She is being manhandled in this small salon. By whom? I don't know exactly. Uh, a thug, a Frenchman, it seems. By the cut of his cloth, I'd say he's a member of the French Revolutionary government. You should do something, my son. Shit. I was supposed to make sure Adams wouldn't go back to her room. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'll take care of it. Probably nothing to worry about. Do you want me to call for help? Please don't do anything. I'm sure with a little goodwill, everything will work out fine. Don't go and wake up the whole manor, please. Thank you, my son. May God watch over you. <sighs> Who do you think you are? Forget Me, sir. If we were in France, I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let me go back to my room. Hey, you! Stay out of it! This is none of your business. I'm gonna teach this little slut how to behave. What the hell is going on? Huh? I don't think you know who I am. Stop. I beg you. I, I didn't mean to. Don't hit me, please, sir. Shit. Uh, if I step in, Adams might just run back uh, to her room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's gonna uh, suffer. Damn it, what should I do? Uh, Let her go, huh? Stay out of it, boy. Shit. What are you playing at? I told you to mind your own business, boy. If you think you can side with this whore and then just walk away, you're out of your mind. Give me one good reason not to knock you down. Sir, you obviously do not know who I am, or you'd keep your distance. Ooh, one more like that and I'm gonna get scared. Don't think you're getting away with it that easily. I'm sick of all these toffs. If we were in Paris, I'd send you all to the guillotine. And on top of it all, a woman telling me how I ought to behave? I won't stand for it. Oh, okay, okay, wait a minute. What? Don't tell me you're gonna defend these harlots. I believe in man. From speech comes dialogue. From dialogue, peace is born. And from peace, great destinies flourish. What the fuck are you talking about? I get the feeling you're trying to put one over on me. If that's the case, you're making a big mistake. Sorry about that. Look, there's no point in us aggravating each other. Let's both just go our separate ways. Don't move, we're not done yet. You wanted to be the knight in shining armor and save the damsel in distress. Let's see how brave you are. Aim true. You only get one shot. At this distance, even a blind man couldn't miss. If you miss, you're a dead man, sir. I'm not in the habit of beating Lord Mortimer's guest in his own salon. You got off easy this time, but don't try it again. The brooch Elizabeth was wearing. Huh. She was so frightened, she was unaware that she'd lost it. Yeah, well, it didn't seem to do her much good. Lady Adams must have locked it behind her when she fled. Hey, these look like pages taken from an ancient encyclopedia. There's a pattern with five circles on this chest.
Honey, the remedy of the gods. Drachma. Well, did you get time to search the room? Louis, I only needed 10 minutes. Imagine the scandal if she had found me. What would you have done in my shoes? She was in the middle of an argument with some angry guy. 10 minutes? I didn't ask for the moon. Nonetheless, you found what you were looking for, didn't you? Not everything, but yes. Elizabeth is definitely the daughter of John Adams. We need more information. You can always go back. It's too late now. Jacques Perru. Duke Manuel Godoy. Your Eminence, what are you doing here? I was worried about you, my son. Uh, how did it go with Miss Adams? Don't worry about that anymore, Your Eminence. I had to step in, but everything's under control. <laughs> what an adventure, my son. <laughs> I am relieved to hear it. You acted as a good Christian. In these troubled times, we need more men of your caliber. It's nothing, Your Eminence. I did what I had to do. Well, you did the opposite. Good. Well, thanks for the news. My son, I have another problem. I wanted to speak to you about something important. Do you still have my letter on you? The one I gave you in the hall? Why do you ask? I have a name to add to it. Here it is. Thank you, my son. Ah, I see that it's still sealed. I was right to put my trust in you, Louise. Now give me one second, please. I can't imagine what would have happened if I hadn't added this name to the list. Please, be sure to give this letter to Sarah the moment you see her. You can count on it. Have a good night. Exhausted. I better go to bed. I'll search my room tomorrow. If Mother stayed here right before me, you never know. And Mortimer had better show up.
vision yesterday, I saw that Mother had this room before me. I'd better search the room. Who knows? Maybe she left me something behind. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Nothing. The torture of Ixion, condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. Here's something will undermine my botanist appreciation for the local climate. A priest's robe, crosses, it must be Piaggi's room. This bookcase is well stocked. Oh, this book has been put back the wrong way round. A Voyage Around the World, the travel log of the explorer, Louis-Antoine de Bougainville. One of mother's favorite books. What a coincidence. And I don't believe in coincidences. It's just too much. I don't know what's going on here, but if you felt threatened, I'll bet you'd leave a clue, wouldn't you, Mother? Found it. A faint sign of the order. Barely visible. Mother, you undoubtedly must have hidden a clue in this book. Let's see if I can find anything else in this room. Oh, I'm not far from solving the puzzle. I must keep searching. Look. Markings on the floor. Eh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer's giving to his guests. Very jolly. Writing material. Hmm. Let's recap. My mother was in this room. I found a rare edition of her favorite book. She must have left something behind. She must have used the writing materials. What if she used lemon juice instead? An old trick used to hide messages. A message using invisible ink. I bet she used a lemon to leave a message. Now, how do I reveal the message? Let's see what my mother wrote. 
Where all eyes size you up, you must pass by the Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. And judging by the number of paintings in the manor, could be anywhere. After that, she adds, beware hero. The beast always charges the best protected soldier. And that's its weakness. What is my mother trying to tell me? If you've gone to so much trouble, you must not have only found something important, but you must have also felt like you were in great danger. Now I better hurry and find that damn Medusa. Sir, dinner is served in the Red Salon. Typical. I'm not hungry. Please give my apologies to all the guests. Uh, Sir Holm requests your presence, sir. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait before going and looking for my Medusa. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. If I get a chance, I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests. Monseigneur, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. President George Washington. Let no one disturb me. I'm busy. Too bad. I'll see him later. That's the door to Elizabeth's room. For God's sakes, what happened in here? My dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. Chest with a half circle pattern. A drachma. A novel of the initiation of a young woman into a polite society. June 11th. August 24th. 30 November 17th. Looks like I found a box containing some kind of white crystals. These are magnesium crystals, a fairly effective remedy for easing anxiety. Chess with a half circle pattern. A 
An untutored hand copied these notes. Looks like a healing method. Well, that's a pity. The writing is barely legible. Feet and hands are bound. A piece of cloth in the mouth prevents the tongue from being sectioned. It looks like preparation for an exorcism. Is Elizabeth really possessed? The note suggests binding the feet and hands, then blocking the jaws using a piece of cloth to prevent the tongue from being sectioned. That looks like a method to control an epileptic fit. I wonder if Elizabeth is the one being treated for that illness. Johann von Wulner. Must be the door to the room of the soldier I saw in my vision. The Prince by Machiavelli. A perfect read for anyone with a surfeit of ambition. Hmm, that might come in handy. Son. It's a beautiful weapon. A lovely damask blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. Bicorn decorated with a cockade. It must belong to a French soldier. The Battle of Alexander at Issus, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over King Darius. Yet another one with Duluth Hannibal crossing the Alps. Another military success. Why do I get nothing but visions of horror in my room, and he gets victory after victory? French actor Talma is Nero and Britannicus, the last emperor of the Caesar dynasty. Person Getterix throws down his arms at the feet of Julius Caesar by Royer. My dear Napoleon, as
It might be better to take a different stairway. It might be better to take a different stairway. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Duke Manuel Godoy. Huh, that's me. Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet. I really need to talk to you. Is this about last night? No, that was just a misunderstanding. I'm sure it was a little bit my fault, too. There's no excuse for that man's horrible behavior. You ought to tell Sir Holm. Look, the only thing that I care about is that I've lost something precious. I'm not worried about Jack Peru. You didn't happen to lose this, did you? Where did you find it? In the small salon. It's the only reminder I have of my beloved sister. I thought that swine stole it from me. You're her son. Sarah de Richet's son. Yes. Why? Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? My mother came here to do business with Lord Mortimer, but she seems to have gone missing. So I'm here to find her. I know your mother very well. Really? Yes. I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you? Oh, I wouldn't say nursed. No. I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. I remember her knees, too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. Hold on a minute. What do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh, she's getting more and more agitated. Look, I've... I've got to go. Wait. I, I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? I want to find out what really happened. No, you really don't want to know what your mother did when I shed my first blood at puberty. On the contrary, you can tell me anything. Let me be my own judge. I know your little game. You're no different from the rest of them. You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? Haven't you got a sister? Yes. I'm sure she loves you with all her heart. She's the only one who cares about me. I would have put an end to it all by now if it weren't for her. Since you insist, I'll tell you how I met your mother. Thanks for trusting me. You see, before I was born, my mother often suffered from hallucinations and fits of anger. Soon people could barely recognize her. She became a completely different person. So my father spent an enormous amount of money paying for the best doctors, but none of them were able to cure her. The last resort was to call a priest. So, is that what your father did? No, he went to an expert in the occult. Ah, 
my mother. Her reputation already extended beyond our borders. My mother's fit stopped at my birth, and Sarah de Richet concluded that the evil had passed into me. Not only did it encourage her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to separate me from the rest of my family. That's how I was declared stillborn. My fate was decided that very day. It would coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. That's when your mother began her experiments to rid me of the evil inside. I understand how you feel, but I know my mother. I'm sure she had her reasons, even if it seems difficult to believe. Everything she put me through was all for nothing. My whole life was ruined for nothing. So what brings you here then? My father used to know Sir Holm. He offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult. Lord Mortimer. He was my last hope. Until I found out he had also invited your mother. It's got to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's come here for you. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know it. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service, day and night, sir. As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? What's that book you're hiding in your jacket? The Sorrows of Young Werther, by Goethe, sir, and I am not hiding it. Hand it to me, please. It is damaged, sir. I would never dare lend, sir, a book in such a pitiful state, sir. I took it to restore. Indeed, this masterpiece must not become more damaged. Let me have it and I'll take care of it personally. I love antiquarian books. It bothers me somewhat. It isn't Sir's job to take care of it, really. No, but I would love to. You'll be doing me a favor by letting me have it. In that case, sir, I shall leave it in your care with pleasure. May I do anything else for Sir? My good fellow, would you have any amber available? I would, but unfortunately I don't think I am authorized to give it out, sir. I believe it is a precious stone. There's no point in lying, you know. I know full well you haven't got any. I would never think of lying, sir. I don't believe I am authorized to give it away, that is all. Amber? Here? I'd be surprised. Yet I assure you, sir. No, you're pulling my leg. I don't believe you. I wouldn't dare to joke with, sir. Yeah, sure. You're just leading me on. I dare you to show it to me, if you really have some. Well then, sir, here is a piece. Ah, right. Well, I'm impressed. Can you lend it to me for a minute? Of course, sir. Here. Wow. I can hardly believe it. Well, I have other questions. Of course, sir. But, sir, I believe you haven't given me back the amber, sir. What? What amber? The piece I gave to sir. No, I don't know what you're talking about. You really ought to look after your things. And it can't be easy to come across amber in these parts. Ah, um, well, does Sir desire anything else?
A little Carmelite water would do me a lot of good. Could you find me some, please? Oh, the tonics are under lock and key, sir. Lord Mortimer only allows access to them in cases of emergency. Listen, I suffer from terrible migraines, and the voyage by boat is brought on my rheumatism. So, unless you have anything else to alleviate the pain, please give me some quickly. Thank you. Oh, and, and the one from Bordeaux, right? I prefer it to the one from Paris. Immediately, sir. Here. I hope, sir, we'll get well again quickly. Anything else, sir? You wouldn't have a little golden elixir I could use, would you? Oh, unfortunately, sir, I have orders not to give any of that medicine to any of Lord Mortimer's guests. Some guests are here to follow a very strict treatment. Mixing or combining certain substances would be dangerous for sir. My good fellow, you're right. One should never mix treatments without the advice of an expert. It so happens that I usually make my own golden elixir, but I haven't brought my kit with me. Perhaps, in that case, would you fetch a spoonful of ethyl alcohol, ethereal oil, and 10 milliliters of ethanol for me? Along with that, a small quantity of gold, please. Just a few crumbs will suffice. Ah, I see that Sir knows his subject. Therefore, I see no reason why I shouldn't give them to you. I hope that will be enough for you, sir, because I haven't any more. Thank you. That will be fine. May I help with anything else, sir? I still haven't quite recovered after the boat crossing. Would you have any Maltese cross, by any chance, please? I... I am sorry, sir, but the Maltese cross may be just a plant, but it is also a powerful psychotropic drug that causes undesirable diuretic effects. I would advise against, sir, taking any. Do not fret. I know the effects of the Maltese cross very well. I've been taking it for years without any adverse effects so far. I've never had cause to complain. You can believe me. That is well, sir. Here is Sir's herb. What else can I do for you, sir? Dear friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army and Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? He tells me to come urgently, and he sends no one to meet me? As for myself, I did not Please. know. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> my friend, Peru looks say. totally out of place here. He's counting the ten sets of cutlery around each plate? The man is completely lost. Thank you again for the wine, your editors. It is served every day at the king's table. I am delighted to be here. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. 
And right he was too. Surprising when you know Volner prohibited religious practices in Prussia. Renowned member of the Rose Croix Order, former Freemason and great lover of alchemy. And look at Piaggi fawning over him. I really do have a problem digesting political protocol. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London <laughs> is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Ah. Beware. The French are capable mm -hmm. of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, uh, I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> <laughs> A Prussian Britannic coalition is not good for France. The last time we fought against them, uh -huh. our yes. empire went up in smoke. Is the wine to your liking? Very much so, Sir Gregory. Such complexity. Typically French. A Sauterne, isn't it? Absolutely! If I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule. But I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry, I appreciate the same grape varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would... would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. It's the first time I've ever seen her so moved. Just mention that orphanage broke right through Emily's hard shell. Is everything all right? Yes, thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. Oh. oh, monsieur, you must be joking. Oh. What do you think of Volner? The Prussian king is his puppet. I find it hard to believe the king of Prussia is so weak. Be careful. Volner is as influential as he is dangerous. You seem to know each other well. We used to work together. I see. Have you any information on this Napoleon? My friend. Well, what do you think, madam? What is this Bonaparte doing here? The presence of a soldier is never a good sign. It can only mean there's going to be further war. To answer your question, I only know that his family were in favor of the revolution, and that it almost cost them their lives. Thank you, that's helpful. Monsieur de Richet? It would seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private, please? <laughs> Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order, through your mother, have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I'm listening. An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. You must know that I am deeply sorry about our disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. I appreciate his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course, but I need to know if I can count you among my allies. Well, of course. 
And for that, I have a little question for you. The agreement stipulates an aid of 50,000 louis d'or for 200 cannons. Surely such an amount will buy twice as many cannons. Don't try to pull a fast one on me. We're both young, but we are not naive. Please don't be offended. I just wanted to make sure you knew what you were talking about. And I am reassured. I have one last question I would like to pose to you. We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? I think what France is lacking today is a truly strong leader ready to govern her. Someone who will restore her luster, who will propel her forward so once again she becomes a proud nation respected by all. A man capable of both rebuilding the country from the inside and, at the same time, developing exterior relations. Someone with a vision, I think. The right person still remains to be found. You're right, my friend. I hear your words and I agree. Monsieur de Richer, I am reassured. I am very happy to have met you. Lord Mortimer was right to put his trust in you. I hope to work with you in the very near future. I would like to thank you for your support by offering you this humble little gift. Hmm. Reflections on the revolution in France. Mr. Bonaparte, I thank you for this gesture, and please know that I, too, am delighted to have met you. My friends, I would like to say a few words, please. I would like to thank Lord Mortimer and you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> the last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So I raise my glass in honor of you all, my new and old friends. I trust you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. Washington is a very gifted speaker. <laughs> Leave him for five minutes with sworn enemies and he'll convince them to be friends for life. Right, we shall meet again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused.
right, let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. 